All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a little Christmas ornament. This is a, a candle with some holly, and the letters are the numbers 2013 printed on it. Uh, we're going to make this uh, for a 3D printer. There's a little hole here that you can thread this piece of string through and hang a hook from onto the tree. So I'm going to show you how to make make this little guy with with mostly the freehand tool. Before we begin, let's make sure we're in the right in the right um, frame here. So, window model info to make sure that our units are in decimal millimeters, and also to make sure that we have the right toolbars set up. So, view toolbars. Ones we need to make sure we're going to use. Uh, or have visible or the large tool set and then the views toolbar and we're going to use a lot of these buttons today we're going to use the um, the eraser we're going to use the the line uh, the circle mostly the freehand tool but also the push pull tool and we're going to use the tape measure um, and we're going to also then use the uh, 3D text uh, as well. Okay. And just to make sure we are um, all on the right page, I'm going to use the hotkeys, the keyboard shortcut keys. For example, if you hit the space bar, it turns your cursor into the arrow. The zoom in and out with the scroll uh, scroll wheel on your mouse is really a handy handy tool to have. Um, if you don't have a three button mouse you should really use one. O for the orbit tool. H for the hand tool. Um, it's possible we could use the M, the move tool. Um, we are also might want to use the eraser tool today and of course control Z um, or command Z to, uh, uh, to undo an, an action. All right, so I've got a new window going on in the background here. We're just going to go to it. Um, and the, the first thing to do is to look, look top down. And we want our, our object, our candle, to be about 8 centimeters. That's 80 millimeters. I'm going to choose the, the tape tool. The shortcut for that is T, by the way click on the origin and then scroll up some distance and you can see here that distance is about um, 318 millimeters that of course is way bigger than we need before we click on anything else I'm going to come down here to the length text box and just press 80 and it will change our uh, our tape measure measurement and so from the origin to that little black dot up there is about 80, 80 millimeters or about 8 centimeters. Okay, so now what I'd like to do is put the put an image of a candle on the deck so we can trace over it. So you simply browse the internet, you you find a, a candle. I just googled uh, Christmas silhouette and found all these little silhouettes here. And I'm going to use the candle silhouette. So you ch import it as an image and I want it to go right about there I guess and so you click once and then click a second time to scale it and that's about the right scale I want I'm going to actually move it press the right arrow key to move it along the red axis just to get that green um, vertical or in our case vertical axis out of the way oops sorry what did I do Okay. All right, and so now we're going to use the freehand tool to simply just trace around the edge of our of our candle and our holly. But unfortunately, the freehand tool I've selected it there. The freehand tool, when when you draw it, makes a black line, so that when you draw into the black, you lose it. So we can change that color quite, quite simply. Again, I'm going to undo that. By going to Window and Styles, we can choose the color. 
of our edges. So window styles edit edges. I'm going to choose the color box, change it to some bright color. This is important to make it bright. Scroll up on that brightness. Get the color you like, press OK. And now we are ready uh, to do some tracing. I can close that window, get it out of our way. Um, and bef as before you start to trace, I really um, would encourage you to zoom way in on the object you want to trace. And instead of trying to trace the entire object all at once, you want to do it in little pieces. For example, here, I'm going to start on the on the uh, shoulder here and I'm going to go up and around and then I just let go. Maybe you want, might want to move it to get in a better position for you. Grab the freehand tool again and this is really important. Whenever you go to grab uh, to start to draw your second little little freehand shape, make sure that the that you start on the end point of the previously drawn line. Okay? So it changes from a little pink diamond to a green circle here on the end point and then you can just freehand it all the way down. Um, I like to use the line tool whenever possible. It eliminates any mistakes with the freehand so I just choose the line tool, click there, click there, and then hit escape to get rid of the line. Freehand it again, oops, need to zoom down freehand again, make sure again you start on the end point and just work your way down. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video. Oh, you see that little, that little jag there? Um, I would always undo those, zoom way in, and just make sure you don't get funky little pieces like that. Okay, so um, I'm going to quit talking and just go kind of fast through my traces and um, I'll catch you on the other side once I'm done. Alright, so now... Oops, that's terrible. So now as I connect these last two pieces, as soon as they connect, boom, and let go, I should get a face that, that fills in. If the face does not fill in, it means that your lines are not connected. Somewhere there's a break. So, uh, for example, let's just say I zoom in way up here. Okay, and I'm going to grab my eraser and just on purpose erase erase that little line. I'm going to then, then fill in. And that's actually quite easy. Oops, that's terrible too. It's quite easy to miss to miss a line especially if you're not zoomed in enough. So if I zoom way in, you can see here that these two lines just don't meet. Okay. So if you zoom out, it's really hard to see um, where the lines uh, don't meet, and especially um, you have to zoom way in and, and to find your mistake. You probably won't make a mistake on something this simple, but on a complicated tracing, you, you, it's, it's quite likely. Let me show you how to find out where your mistake is. We can play kind of a detective here. So what you can do is you can grab the line tool, click on one edge, and bisect the, your, your drawing. And whenever you do that, it completes the edge, completes the face, and so you know that the bottom is complete and there's something wrong with the top. So then you can just come in here and just kind of fill in the top part. So, of course, we know that that part's a mistake. And in this way, you can just keep zooming in and zooming in until you, until you find your, your mistake. And of course, we know it's at the top. And then you could realize that you kind of you figured out, oh, there we go. So then you can just connect, and now it's all done. Okay? But you don't want those lines hanging around. It makes it uh, bad for 3D design, and, and they're unnecessary. So we can get rid of them. But first, let's make it more visible. Let's take our take our edges and make them um, turn them back to the the dark black color. So window styles, edit edges, and then we're going to make the color be all black. All right, 
And now we can grab our eraser and we can just erase those little lines that we added to as, as, a, as a detective. Okay, done here. We're actually done with the image itself too. So if you want to, you can just click on the image and delete it. All right, so before we make this a, a, a three-dimensional piece, let's, let's add a little circle here. Uh, for our string, which we're going to then be able to hang a hook from. So grab the circle, click somewhere here, I guess. Um, draw a little circle, and really the radius, I'm going to make it half a millimeter, so 0.5 or 0 0.5. And that gives me the, the little circle. And before we extrude again, we want to click on the inside of the circle. Click one time on the circle, not on the on the edge but just simply in the middle. Here I'll show you that again. So if you click one time and then on the keyboard press delete you still have the black edge there and uh, that's going to give us a little through hole that we're going to be able to put our string. Okay. So now what we want to do is kind of rotate down to this look. I'm going to use the push pull tool. That's the P tool. I'm going to click it, drag it to some arbitrary distance, and I know that I want it to be five millimeters. Sorry. Five millimeters. Okay. Um, and as I sit here and I look at this, I can see we've got some... I got a little mistake down there. I've got a extraneous line, so I'm going to press the eraser tool, come in there and clean up those lines. I can actually kind of zoom around here and just to make sure looking at all my little edges making sure I don't have some stray edges floating around okay looks pretty good I should have done that before I extruded the piece alright and then the last thing we have to do is uh, simply put the put the lettering on if you don't know how to do that it's not that difficult I have a tutorial for it you simply click the 3D lettering, type in whatever you want to type in, kids' names, the year, whatever. Uh, I'm going to choose copper plate gothic bold, a height of 5 millimeters, and then the extruded height um, of 1 millimeter. Uh, I know these numbers are going to work because I've I practiced this before I, before I came onto the tutorial. And then simply place it and make sure that it says on face exactly where you want it place on face click there and that's it you're done now you can just export this as an STL print it on the 3D printer and uh, hang it on your tree